Hello my beautiful Sagittarius. This is a channeled love message for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus of Sagittarius. Sagittarius. You're feeling very passionate, very feisty. You're feeling like you want to talk to somebody all night and all day. This person is so beautiful inside and beautiful outside. They have a beautiful spirit. Your person could be from a different part of the country, different part of the world, a different culture different ethnicity, but somebody who's very different, somebody who might be very worldly, like many of you. You see yourself, you are in love with someone, and you see a future. So let's get started and see what the messages are. Okay, how is this going to work out for Sagittarius? Our friends, ooh, Sag, Jupiter. Jupiter ruled, I love it, ninth house, all about philosophy and the legal system and what's fair and what's balanced and what's cultural and what's worldly in life the big adventures of life world travel okay so let's see what we have Ooh, we have the high priestess you are listening to your intuition oops let's see what we have here three of wands ships coming in Seven of Wands, standing in your power. Justice card, keeping things balanced. Okay. Two major arcanas out of four. That's a big deal. Sagittarius. I like this reading. It's cool. All right. Look at the Fool card, a new beginning in your heart. Something going on in your heart. You are looking at things from a different perspective and you're not rushing. We have the Three of Coins. You are, you, may, you might have a love interest at work, but somebody who, with whom you collaborate with on artistic projects. You have fire in your belly. Spirit is saying, keep up the good work. <clears throat> Let's see, what is the outcome at this period of time for this love relationship for Sagittarius? You are, oh, interesting. So I'm not going to take that many. Too many cards. We just need one spirit. We just need an outcome card here for beautiful Sag. And we have this one. Oh, look at this. <laughs> that is legacy. That's all about family and happiness and joy and having enough abundance for everyone. And it's sort of like that movie, what my big fat Greek wedding, <laughs> where there's houses and everybody takes care of everybody. It's beautiful energy. Sagittarius, look at these cards. You intuitively know something that maybe has not started yet. You feel as though you have this connection with a person who's very exciting, very interesting. It's all sort of ticky torches with them. It seems beautiful. Every conversation with your person seems very, just like a new adventure. You never know what's going to happen. You are a little bit, you're holding back a little bit, Sag. You know, you, you've been around the block. You know, you're just staying cool, calm, and collected. You know, you're, you have your guard up a little bit. You know, you are in a self-protective mode. It does look like people have been pursuing you. We see all of these wands down here trying to get to you, Sag. So we see you sort of, you know, you just want to pick some somebody. We get this beautiful Libra energy here, um, you know, that really talks about you seeing this as a very balanced connection. You know, in your heart space, you really have fire in your belly. You want to move forward and start something new. And But you're not going to rush anything. You want to get to know this person better. You're willing to do the work, and you think this could be the one. So let's clarify this and see about your love interest and how they're feeling at this time in this relationship. They might not even know because you might not have told them. They know there's a connection. They definitely know that there's a connection because we have the beautiful Three of Wands. So let's see. Oops. <laughs> well, there go cards. That is a lot of cards that fell out with the devil at the bottom. 
So I'm going to deal with those, but I'm going to leave those off to the side. This is a whole separate reading. This is These are the things you need to know about the connection with your person, okay? Your person of interest. But their feelings, they've just left a relationship. They felt that they were stabbed in the back, so they're coming into this as being very sort of demure, very spiritual, very quiet. You know, they're, they're being... Um, I would say guarded, but more in a spiritual way, more in a, you know, I'll just take my messages from the divine is what your person of interest is saying to themselves, but they have left something possibly very toxic in the recent past, okay? So why do we have the Three of Wands card for you here? There we go. Oh, okay. Okay. Your person, for some of you, this is only going to be a message for a few. For some of you, your person may have newly uh, come to the country that you're in. Because I get the world card, a new adventure, and a death card. So, I'm going to read this two different ways. Take it as it resonates. If it doesn't apply to you, then it's not your part of the reading. But what I see is that your person has left something that... Um, was very successful in the past. This has caused a death, but I do think for many of you, it could either be a marriage for some, um, but it also looks as though for some of you, they may have actually left a country and come to, like I said, the country that you're in. I know it's unusual, but it happens all the time, right? Okay. So why is your person, how does your person feel about the balance between the two of you? You can't read them either. It's hard to read this person. Okay, so how does your person feel? Are there, what is the balance of love or affection or attraction with you? Nice, look at this, okay. Ooh, Aries energy, they think that you're hot. They think that you're a leader. They are feeling as though they're not sure, though. They are still feeling very burned by love because of this toxicity in the relationship that they left. And we have the King of Cups, excuse me, Knight of Cups energy. So they feel very romantically drawn to you, but they're not ready for a relationship yet. They're not ready for a new beginning. They're still hurting and wounded from something in the past that's been toxic. In their heart space, though, they do want the adventure with you. Two cards of adventure right here, Sag. All right, so what is the new beginning that your person sees with you? What is the new beginning? Well, we have these cards. All right, so they left something behind. They're still really getting over something. They're not going to move quickly either, but look at honey, I'm home. They want to move forward very cautiously. They want to make sure that they're not jumping from the proverbial pan into the fire with anyone. So they're taking it slowly, but your person did walk away after a long time of thinking and considering the past toxicity um, to come towards you. So it's really great energy. Let's see what the mutual energy for collaboration, for hanging out together, for how you would feel around one another's family and friends, the moon card. So there's some fear here. They're not sure that they're comfortable but look at this. They see themselves as potentially falling in love with you. King of Pentacles energy. That's a very nurturing uh, parental type card that takes care of everyone. Very much linked to the Ten of Coins. This is the king. The king is over here when he's younger. Okay, so he's she. But anyway, but this card also tells us, the Queen of Cups energy tells us that your person feels as though they could fall very much in love. Now, the one thing I will say about the person that you are interested in, Sag, is when they love, they love hard. They love without restriction. 
So your person has, this, they're very self-protective right now because they have left something that was pretty challenging. So though they find you very attractive and they want adventures with you, they're trying to play it cool. But look at this, they're not. They're falling in love with you, whatever you say, whatever you do, they're very, very much in that space. But we can see that quote unquote she is defensive being very guarded right now and you can see that with the seven of wands so are you all right so the outcome card here is right now you're not going to do anything for the short time being you're looking at things from a different perspective you're tr you're doing some soul searching here sag you're doing some soul searching and i'm going to tell you the backstory pretty soon there's a backstory that dropped out in the cards with that yep and you have no desire to keep your options open sad you don't you want a victory with this person you want to introduce them to your friends you want to have fun so you found your person that you feel as though you could have a really long-term future with ah the queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck okay so now let's look and see the energy that fell out here for your person is very intense and there's a lot of it so what I see is that they left a very toxic situation in which they had been happy for a long time this had been somebody they might have known from childhood they came to a crossroads in the relationship that they were in because they found out that their significant other had a lover and was running off to see that lover. That lover was full of adventure. This person left. I'm seeing them having made an offer to someone else. So they, you might, your person might not have been married to them, but it looks like they were together for a long time. It looks like the truth is, is that your person thought they were going to marry this person, that you know they were gonna have a stable family life with them, and the bad news came in and it's almost unbearable because your person had invested a lot that turned out to be not an investment. So we can see really why your person's very guarded for you. So let's look. You are going to move forward in this relationship. The two of you are moving forward very slowly. You're doing it very thoughtfully. Uh, your person has wounds and you're going to strategically let them have time to, to get out of that energy, to be more forthright with you because they, st they have some depression, a little bit of sadness sort of around them energetically. You can feel it because we have the moon card, the four of cups, the five of cups, and we have this death card. So they are grieving the loss of... What was a toxic relationship, but love is love and, you know, toxicity is what makes it so painful when we have to leave. So let's look and see what the advice of spirit is for you, Sagittarius. Beautiful, beautiful. You know, it's so interesting. We just meet people all the time. Sometimes we're ready, sometimes we're not, but you're ready enough to let this unfold dragon's horde protecting the future <laughs> oh beautiful energy gathering around the power of community all right so this is the energy of you wanting to definitely introduce your person look at the power of community all these people are applauding this can be an engagement energy and then we have winter's dream you're in a gestation period Oh, beautiful energy, Sag. You are pregnant with the love of your life. It hasn't manifested on the mundane, but it is right there. It's fire in your belly, literally. Take care, Sag. Sending you love. Bye-bye.